Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here, back through daily crypto news and analysis. And today we're going to be talking about Hedera Hashgraph. More specifically, we're going to be talking about the NFTs that are being pretty much built within the Hedera ecosystem. This is pretty interesting. Um, we talk about Solana a lot on this channel. We talk about a lot of NFT-driven assets as well. You know, NFTs are the driver of a lot of success with many of these projects as well. Um, but NFTs are also a huge key aspect for the future of of digitization tokenization and so forth so with further ado uh, let's jump into this video but before we fully jump in I just want to ask for anybody who is watching this video right now definitely hit that like subscribe and turn notifications on if you guys haven't already as it does greatly help the channel grow so with that being said I don't have to tell you guys how huge the NFT scene is in fact Solana is growing day by day you know from the NFT scene that's what initially made it launch of course they do have a strong ecosystem as well but in terms of the NFT scene, if we go to the NFT scene here and look at what's happening throughout this market, we do see that the market cap is sitting at about $57.6 billion for the NFT scene. And of course, we do see that the trading volume is down about 23, almost 24% at $13.5 billion. But overall, excuse me, we know that this market is going to grow and prosper as time goes on. In fact, the year-to-date percentages do not lie. Look at some of these assets in terms of the percentages that they have moved. The top 10 assets alone are, you know, over 3,000 plus percents in terms of runs. So, you know, a lot of these NFT spaces, or I should say assets in the space, you know, these are pretty huge gainers like VRA, uh, I know a lot of people who are in VRA. It's a pretty great asset overall. I wouldn't be buying it right now, just my overall opinion. But still, this is what we're talking about in terms of massive demand for the NFT scene. And Hedera Hashgraph should not be you know, ignored in the NFT scene because they are growing at an astronomical rate. So without further ado, let's jump in. But before we do fully jump in, I just want to ask you guys, if you are interested in my exit strategies and all that kind of stuff, Definitely check out my website and Cash Official, as this does include pretty much everything that I do have on the ch on uh, this website. Um, essentially, the Ultimate Crusader Trading Bundle Pack includes everything on the website, as well as all future products for free. So that is the best deal. But overall, let's jump into this juicy content. So first off, healthcare and gaming. These are two aspects that Hedera is really kind of focused on right now in terms of major use cases. They are already partnered with many brands within the gaming and healthcare scene. In fact, these two scenes here are some of the biggest use cases to date that Hedera actually has under their belt. Now, you might be wondering, well, whatever, what does NFTs have to do with healthcare? Well, healthcare actually has a lot of NFTs under it. We're going to be talking about it. And of course, gaming, we already know that gaming is huge in the NFT base points. You know, for example, Mana uh, is a huge name in the game for NFT based gaming. And, you know, we already see that that is up 3,200% plus this year. And it did hit a high of like $3 and like 50 cents or something like that. It was pretty crazy. Now, I do want to talk to you guys initially about the token service on Hedera. First off, I don't really have to touch base on this too much, as you guys already know about this, um, but they are doing incredibly well within tokenization. In fact, they don't have to utilize smart contracts at all for this, but if they did, uh, we have some exciting things to talk about with that as well, which we're going to be discussing here shortly as well. Now, in regards to this, we do see our payments, financial services, supply chain, energy, and sustainability all through the token service. A lot of these markets that we're talking about on a day-to-day -day basis will be tokenized. In fact, a lot of markets around the world, even in regards to real estate, are going to be tokenized. And I think that that is great. First off, tokenizing something and then transferring it at such a rapid pace, that is the future. You know, just imagine you go and buy a house and instead of, you know, whatever the case may be, getting a deed or whatever, it's tokenized and you actually have it as a digital entity. That is pretty cool. In fact, I think that that is the future. We talk about, you know, the real estate game being, you know, innovated throughout NFTs as well in regards to Ripple and Proppy. We also talk about NFT bases in, you know, real estate going back to, I forgot what the company was, but it was Red Something that was working with Hedera. Uh, in fact, they closed a, a few deals down in Texas through the NFT base points as well, which I think is inter uh, interesting to say the least. Now, in regards to this token service and in regards to everything that they are doing, we talk about the smart contracts because smart contracts right now on Hedera aren't the best. Uh, everybody pretty much claims that, well, the HTS is very slow, you know, whatever the case may be through smart contracts, but that's the case, right? The TPS 
is lower on you know the smart contract base point instead of using the transactional data flows that will allow for the 10,000 plus transactions per second but we already talked to the team in regards to smart contracts v2.0 and they already said that the transactions per second are in the hundreds plus which is higher than any other asset in this space now we do see here Hedera Solidity smart contracts bringing highest speed programmability to tokenization. Like I said, they are going to have the highest grade speed. Not only that, but they are going to have you know flexibility of fast, low fee, and industry standard Solidity smart contracts. So this is going to compete with anything else. And I actually did a video on this. In fact, I um, talked about how big this could actually become because we even see here in quarter two of 2021, Ethereum settled $2.5 trillion in transactions, which is very interesting. And that is just the tip of the iceberg in terms of what they were talking about for EVM based contracts. So the future is bright with, you know, tokenization in this space. And we actually see here the Hedera token service has seen broad adoption for use in applications, leveraging both fungible and non-fungible tokens. Again, this is going to be a huge step in, uh, in into the future through just Hedera alone. Now, all of this combined, we talk about the Hashport portal, right? Because that's going to connect Hedera with Ethereum and Polygon. And you might be wondering, well, why is that even a big deal? Well, it's going to allow the transfer of funds, which I'm going to discuss here shortly as well. But we talk about asset tokenization on Hedera. And like I said before, this is going to be tokenization of pretty much anything and everything. When we're talking about what's happened in digitization, we know that digitized you know, payments are going to reach like $6.3 trillion by 2023 alone. Just imagine how huge tokenization is actually going to be. And you can read this uh, white paper that's going to talk about tokenization through energy, uh, through you know, real estate and all that kind of stuff. It's very interesting, supply chain of course, and then of course, uh, of course, tokenized securities with LCX, which LCX is great. And then of course, energy and sustainability through you know renewable energy credits. A lot of this in terms of tokenization is going to spread out beyond what anybody is actually seeing or realizing. In fact, here is a core. A core is actually pretty interesting because they are in the healthcare scene. Hedera underpins our secure data transport layer for greater collaboration. And you might be wondering, well, what are they actually doing with a core? Because they're not really mentioning much there. Well, let's talk about it. So a core, which, like I said, is a healthcare, you know, platform. It's a healthcare, uh, you know, use case. We do see a rights hash builds on Hedera to pioneer decentralized management and protection of users' rights. They might be wondering, well, what are they doing? Well, look at this. A core has launched rights hash, a decentralized software uh, engine implemented using serverless open APIs that provides an easy means to represent and manage an individual's rights and protections as discrete, globally unique digital assets. Rights hash uses the public Hedera distributed ledger platform to associate and track an individual's digital rights, such as consent to participate to participate sorry in a clinical trial to an nft now i just want you guys to understand that this is through an nft base point this is why nfts are so much bigger than most people actually realize nfts can go well beyond you know jpegs they could go well beyond you know what most people actually see them going to in fact we talked about this yesterday with um you know uh can it be right right <clears throat> into the medicinal marijuana stage point where we could see tokenization of certain strains of cannabis i think that that's incredible in fact that is a huge use case and that is what i'm talking about in terms of nfts i don't want to just see jpegs i don't want to just see you know art or whatever it's easy to tokenize stuff like that the end goal here is to have individuals rights and data and you know all that stuff secured through NFTs and NFTs giving that ownership to individuals in, you know, in general, right? So this is a huge use case. And then, of course, we talk about the Siva Love, which, again, they are building the, the metaverse on the Hedera, you know, platform. This is incredible. A lot of NFT adoptions happening at a very rapid pace, I should mind, because, you know, just in the last two months alone, we have seen the NFT scene on Hedera grow astronomically, which I, I think is 
incredible. Now we do see here with the majority of NFT proceeds allocated directly to supporting social and environmental uh, initiatives, the platform is establishing itself as a community hub focused on raising awareness and creating long lasting engagement between those looking to help make a difference and those actively working to do so transcending beyond simply a place where people go to buy and sell NFTs. So this is a really interesting platform. Um, again, it's more so focused on charitable, you know, sort of, you know, as aspects here, which I still think is great. Now, of course, this is built using Infinite Worlds NFT engine that integrates the carbon negative Hedera distributed ledger network with multi chain interoperability, starting with Ethereum as a roadmap pillar. Siva Love will enable and inspire all of those who or choose to uh, participate to help them make the world a better place. Now, I still think that this is incredible. All of this is awesome because check this out. Siva Love will focus on a value creation in the digital metaverse with wearable assets, physically redeemable artwork, and unique ownership benefits. Again, this is physical and digital assets. I love this. Personally, I think NFTs are going to be a huge future. In fact, think about Ready Player One, um, the movie, and then just think about where NFTs could actually go to if something like that is built on something like Hedera. This is, you know, a trillion dollar you know, sort of use case overall. But don't take my word for it because there's still so much more to talk about. For an example, Animoca Brands, right? They are working with Hedera to announce Helix Warp and NFT-based football game. I talked about this back in May, actually. I think I might have talked about this back in May or June, somewhere around that time I was talking about it. But anyways, this was the base point that I said back then, too. I said, look at what they are doing. Look at what they are doing in terms of addressing cheating in multiplayer games, which is a huge problem. Uh, you know, a new blockchain game that will utilize, you know, real world football clubs and will be backed by HBAR. This is going to be huge because this is going to allow them to build multiple games. And I've always said that NFT games right now are fairly bad. And I don't mean that they're bad in terms of, you know, how they're working or anything like that. No. They're just bad in terms of how much funding they are getting or how much development they have. The graphics are fairly poor, but they are still doing incredibly well. Now, just imagine if you had a game that had incredible graphics, you know, ultimately had incredible, you know, usability. The UI was great. Just imagine how big that could be. Well, that, I think, is going to be coming to Hedera very, very soon. But again, a lot of these use cases that are being built on a day-to-day -day basis on Hedera, go st they stretch all the way back to May when NFTs were actually being the big thing um, for Hedera. And, and they even go back further than that. They go back all the way to, you know, 2020 in November. So... You know, Hedera is leading the way for NFTs right now, and a lot of people are not realizing that or seeing it, but trust me, when we're talking about things going all the way back to May, we do see here the breakouts built on the Hedera network offers NFTs for the all, uh, oh my god, I can't even talk, the art of culture in partnership with the compound and Forbes, the culture. This is really interesting, again, because this is a virtual exhibit, uh, exhibition with the compound and the Forbes, the culture. Now, all of this hand in hand will continue to be built out i honestly see you know museums and stuff like that being tokenized and being able to you know be i i would say you could go to a museum or an, uh, an overall art um museum and pretty much walk into it in the metaverse and see all of this stuff you can maybe even bid and buy art through the overall digitization aspect of things with tokenization and NFTs, I think that that could be huge. But overall, this is pretty cool because it's a multi-dimensional company that teams up with creators, curators, and brands to offer immutable digital and physical art and collectibles through their own scalable and sustainable uh, blockchain technology platform. Um, it's proud to announce that they will be powering a virtual exhibition with the compound and the Forbes, the culture. So again, when we're talking about what is happening here, this is incredible for art and all that kind of stuff. And like I said, art is the growing name in the NFT game. And it has always been that, you know, going back to, you know, um, I think it was Beeple. Yeah, it was Beeple that sold, you know, his artwork for about like $70 million. And then we seen just a last like week or so, a CryptoPunk selling for half a billion dollars. Like this is a huge huge market and I think a lot of people undermine it just because of the memes and stuff but trust me this is way bigger than what most people are actually seeing um, in regards to NFTs uh, a lot of it's just scratching the surface now I do want to talk to you guys about this hash port portal because I didn't really kind of touch base point on it too much um, but overall when we're talking about this this is going to allow the transfer of those digital assets 
very, very easily from network to network. And I think that that is incredible because this also allows for a lot of people to transfer their Ethereum um, you know, tokens or whatever the case may be, a digital asset over to Hedera or to Polygon, uh, lock their HBAR or HashBAR approved Hedera tokens and create a representative version of a selected destination network. Users have the ability to explore DeFi gaming and NFT opportunities and more with the projected tokens. Enterprises will be able to use HashBAR to simplify key business logic in order to accelerate the global adoption of decentralized networks and applications. And I just want to say the global adoption, understand what is being built behind closed doors and the truth will set you free because this is going to be absolutely massive. In fact, we do see your hashboard will act as an important tool for the new developers on Hedera, setting the stage for novel cross network applications that will increase the adoption of the Hedera network in the process. Again, this technology, Hedera themselves, this is growing at such a massive rate. I don't know if anybody else has seen it, but I am just so surprised with how fast this is moving. And just to touch base on it, I'm going to wrap it up here with talking about how big NFTs have been, you know, becoming. So first off, check this out. NFT sales surged $10.7 billion in quarter three as crypto asset frenzy hits new all-time highs. Of course, they're growing astronomically. I don't have to tell you guys that because even going back here, the third quarter figure was up from $1.3 billion in quarter two and $1.2 billion in quarter one. So huge growth here look at the, the look at the growth in quarter one two and then three uh this is massive especially going back to quarter three and quarter four of just 2020 alone i mean this is massive um and then on the biggest nft marketplace open sea sales volume hit 3.4 billion dollars in august we've talked about that um but overall listen nfts are continuing to grow because things like this Quentin Tarantino to offer seven uncut scenes from Pulp Fiction, one of my favorite movies, I should add, as NFTs. This is huge. You know, this is <laughs> NFTs now stretching all the way to Hollywood. NFTs switching, uh, you know, they're, they're flowing all the way into the music scene, into, you know, the movie scene as well, into gaming. We even see over here, EA calls NFT and blockchain games the future of the industry. And it is, right? This is going to be huge. You know, gaming in terms of NFTs, this is going to unlock so much potential through, you know, virtual reality, augmented reality, and so much more. This is going to be much bigger than anybody anticipated. And then we also see here Red Bull Racing unveils debut NFT collection ahead of Mexican GP. Guys, do I really need to tell you guys how huge this is actually going to be? And of course, they're doing this on Tezos. But listen. I just want to say right now, this is a 10,000 piece collection will be the racing helmet, which dons a unique, special, unique design. So this is overall at the end of the day, flowing into other massive markets that are obviously billion dollar plus platforms. And I do think that the NFT gaming scene could grow astronomically in terms of what EA is saying here. Um, I would say that the NFT you know, uh, space for gaming. First off, gaming itself has been becoming bigger and bigger and bigger than anybody anticipated it to become. It's almost as big, if not it is as big as, you know, just real life sports, right? So, you know, when we're talking about esports and the gaming scene, this industry is set to explode as time goes forward. I think more and more people are, are accepting gaming as a, you know, way of, you know, stress relief or just overall as a great hobby. I think it is a great hobby. So, a lot of these markets are set to disrupt, but the NFT scene has been growing at an astronomical rate and Hedera's adoption of NFTs has been growing extremely well as well. So when we're talking about the future on, you know, Hedera for NFTs, I think it is such a great, you know, platform and, you know, ecosystem to build NFT based points um, in terms of use cases and so forth. So. With that being said, I hope that you all enjoyed this video. If you guys did, definitely leave a like, subscribe to notifications on if you guys want more free content. You guys are more than welcome to follow me on Twitter and join the free Discord down in the description below. As always, I hope that you all have a beautiful day or a beautiful night. Wherever you guys are, I'm just beautiful. This is Nick. Peace out, guys.